Hey everyone, Xeon over here from Nintendo Life, and today we're here to share with you our review of Penny's Big Breakaway on the Nintendo Switch. Now, this review was originally written by Mitch Vogel for NintendoLife.com, but was reworked into this video by me. Believe it or not, it's been almost seven years since the release of Sonic Mania, which undeniably marked a high point for Sega's troubled mascot. Much of the game's success could be attributed to the team of passionate and talented fans led by Christian Whitehead. But rather than coast on their success by producing the much expected Sonic Mania 2, this team instead rebranded themselves as a boutique studio called Evening Star and set out to launch their own IP with a new 3D platformer called Penny's Big Breakaway. Though the influence of the blue blur should be immediately apparent to fans of Sonic Mania, Penny's debut adventure feels like it asserts its own identity. Some minor performance quirks aside, this is a spectacular, creative, unique, and deeply enjoyable new entry in the 3D platforming genre that no fan will want to miss. The story is set in the dreamlike world of Macaroon and begins with an entertainer named Penny, who conveniently finds a magical and also sentient yo-yo while the Emperor Eddie is holding auditions for a talent show. Using her skills and the newfound powers given to her by her yo-yo, which is also named Yo-Yo, she quickly skips the line and puts on a stellar show for the Emperor. Unfortunately though, Yo-Yo has the temperament of an unruly dog, and he quickly goes off leash and steals the Emperor's pants in front of a captive audience. Furious, Emperor Eddie quickly brands Penny a felon and sicks his massive army of penguins on her, in turn kicking off a wild chase across the kingdom as she desperately evades capture. It's not much of a story, but there's some interesting lore that's slowly revealed as you explore more of Macaroon and learn of Yo-Yo's true origins. Along the way, you'll make various friends and frenemies that aid you on your journey, each featuring a memorable design and some cute interactions with the perpetually aghast and silent Penny. As you'd expect, it's quite a light-hearted tale, making it a perfect fit for the free-flowing fun that follows. Penny's Big Breakaway's gameplay feels like a mixture of a momentum-focused 3D Sonic game and a collectathon. Rather than taking the open-world approach used in games like Banjo-Kazooie, though, the game breaks things up into 3 to 10-minute levels that present razor-sharp level design and plenty of opportunities for optimizing your time and score. Every movement-based action in Penny's repertoire has a point value attached to it, and mixing up your moves while touching the ground as little as possible will bolster your combo and score multiplier, a bit like style ranks in Devil May Cry. Stages are ultimately built around pushing this score as high as possible, and doing so as fast as you can. One run through a stage will teach you the basic layout of the level, but you'll quickly realize that environmental hazards and platforms are perfectly placed to take advantage of Penny's moveset. Slopes you can roll down to build up speed are usually followed by big drops, and precarious jumps are always conveniently spaced just as far apart as your zip dash can carry you. One run isn't enough to get the most out of this kind of level design either, and you're encouraged to learn each level thoroughly until you can execute a nearly flawless run. There's a certain kind of language that you come to understand about these levels as you deepen your knowledge of what Penny can do, and putting it all together to pull off that golden run feels incredible once everything finally clicks. A big part of what makes subsequent reruns so engaging is that Penny's controls are tight, responsive, and versatile. Yo-Yo reminds us a bit of Cappy from Super Mario Odyssey, in that he offers you a variety of combat and platforming moves that can be chained together in interesting ways once you understand their timings. The Zip Dash can be used to quickly reposition Penny mid-air, but it doesn't take long before you realize it's also a great way to build up speed. When you first start out, Penny can admittedly feel like she's just a little too technical to control well, but you'll soon find yourself pulling off some impressive chains as you swing, roll, and yoink your way through stages with elegance and style. If rolling around at the speed of sound isn't your thing, each level hides three collectible bolts hidden on side paths as well as three brief side quests from NPCs. 
These may task you with getting a certain score within a brief window, delivering an item to an NPC further on in a level, or picking up a series of collectibles within a set time limit. There's plenty of leeway in Penny's adventure to take things slow and root around in search of pickups, even if the focus of the game is ultimately more on fast-paced madcap action rather than careful exploration. These collectibles aren't for nothing either, as you can spend the bolts on secret extra short levels that really test your mastery of Penny's moveset. There's also a shop you can use to pick up some consumables to make Penny's journey a little easier as well. Level design is another major plus, as every stage expertly weaves in new concepts and level gimmicks while later revisiting old ones in inventive ways. Diving boards let you spring to new heights, and you can skim across large bodies of water, which all help give the different worlds a unique flavor, while also showcasing the versatility of Penny's controls. There's a certain kind of crazy energy present in each stage as you tear around corners on yo-yo, launch over death pits, and frantically attempt to shake off the horse of penguins chasing after you. Penny's Big Breakaway is a game that's focused on fun in a way that feels delightfully old school, as it rapidly throws all kinds of new ideas at you without ever feeling too half-baked. The only real complaint we have against Penny is that performance on the Switch is noticeably lesser than what you can find on other platforms. On Switch, the frame rate is locked at 30 FPS, while everywhere else, it's 60. Now, we didn't observe any notable frame drops in our time, it's a rock solid 30 FPS, but this is the kind of game that really benefits from those extra frames. We also noted a fair few small bugs along the way, such as Penny getting stuck on level geometry in odd places, or when we got this item that we needed to progress further stuck on a wall. We had to backtrack to a certain point in the level, which caused the item to despawn, and then we could go forward and try it again. These bugs weren't bad enough to substantially affect the gameplay experience, but we're still hoping that a patch goes out in the future to clear out those rougher edges. Visually, Penny's Big Breakaway adheres to a graphical style that makes it feel a lot like a lost classic from the Sega Saturn. Characterized by dreamlike levels, goofy character designs, and bright neon colors. With penguins all over the place and level hazards adding to the visual noise, it can sometimes feel like a little bit much to look at. But Penny is always clearly visible, and the fixed camera does a fantastic job of framing the action throughout. This is then matched by a bouncy and poppy soundtrack from Sonic Mania composer T. Lopes, and it really feeds into the whimsical nature of these worlds. The catchy music helps to make subsequent runs of a level feel a little less like busy work, while the inclusion of some house, rock, and drum and bass elements keep individual tracks feeling diverse and fresh. Penny's Big Breakaway is a tremendous achievement by Evening Star, expertly combining tight controls, excellent level design, and a raft of creative ideas, all while throwing in a hefty dose of pure speed. Though the Switch version can feel a little rough around the edges at times, this is still an easy recommendation to make to anyone who considers themselves a fan of Sonic, 3D platformers, or both. Penny's inaugural adventure has got it where it counts, and if you're looking for a challenging yet approachable new 3D platformer to add to your library, it doesn't get much better than this. We here at Nintendo Life give Penny's Big Breakaway on the Nintendo Switch an 8 out of 10. Whoa, what are you doing trying to break away from the video? The show's not done yet. Of course, Mitch spent a lot of time playing Penny's Big Breakaway to put his thoughts down for this review, and I had the chance to play a little bit of the game as well and have some of my own thoughts that I wanted to throw at you that are a little different than Mitch's. So I'm a big fan of 3D platformers, but I've never really been great at them. And one thing Mitch touched on in the review is the fact that Penny's controls and capabilities at first can feel pretty daunting. There is so much to get to grips with, and your timing with jumps and dashes and attacks are so important. So people that are great at 3D platformers are going to have an absolute blast playing around in this toy box. But I've honestly walked away from the experience feeling a bit more frustrated at myself than anything. There's a boss early on in the game that requires a lot of unique moves from you within a short amount of time. And I suppose Penny's Big Breakaway is trying to be this kind of silly and weird 3D platformer that you would have found on the Sega Saturn or the N64 or even the PlayStation. But sometimes, kind of like Devil May Cry, this skill ceiling just feels a little too high. 
And so I'm not saying you're not gonna have a good time with this, but just know what you're getting into if you decide to pick this up. Now the camera does a pretty good job following Penny around in ways that you need, but I did find a few different situations where you're supposed to jump forward onto a floating platform, and it can just be a little hard to tell where your character is going to land or how far you can move since this is such a momentum focused platformer. This is definitely the sort of game that practice will make you a better player the more that you rerun through levels and the more you get to grips with Penny's controls. And I do think there is a really rewarding game here, but that's up to you, the player, to get there or not. Now, as this is the first 3D platformer from Evening Star, this is an incredible achievement, and I'm genuinely really excited to see what they come up with next. This game is incredibly over the top, and it does a great job at teleporting you back to a time that isn't the 2020s. So, of course, let us know in the comments down below if you're planning on picking up Penny's Big Breakaway. Maybe you already have and you just wanted to see what we thought, or maybe you needed a little bit more convincing. Let us know what you think. And of course, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, then why don't you swing that yo yo at that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to be notified whenever we put up new videos thank you all so much for watching and thank you of course to mitch for spending all of his time with penny's big breakaway i'm zian from nintendo life stay safe out there and we will see you all next time oh.